from an NBA ball getting stuck to insane shots like this. These are one in a billion NBA moments. And Kawhi Leonard was taking a last second shot to try and tie the game when the ball got stuck on the rim. Yeah, he couldn't do that again if he tried. And neither could Russell Westbrook, cause he hit a one in a billion layup. Yeah, that was off the clock. But this next shot was off the dome, cause Karam Butler hit a ball so hard, it knocked out the ref. Damn, he took it like a champ, but Jose Alvarado didn't, cause he was just sitting on the bench, minding his own business, when his teammates started biting him. Yeah, I guarantee you'll never see that again. And I thought I'd never see this, an NBA player stealing a drink from a fan. Ugh, I ain't drinking after some random NBA player, that's gross. But this next play is just dangerous. Because of all the places Christian Wood could have thrown the ball, he chose here. Left some meat on the bone. Seven, se oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hope everyone's okay. Man, poor girl was seeing stars. But we gotta talk about a superstar, LeBron James. Because he once caught an alley oop pass and did this. Smith Bob James. You know, you don't always see something new every night. I have never seen that. Yup, no one saw Luigi coming. But what they really didn't expect was what happened to the Spurs. Cause their arena got invaded by a bird. Our pigeon friend is back, Bart. Yes, yes, there was a pigeon flying around in pregame and the pigeon is still in the building. It's, yeah, that's, the problem right that's now is big. Big. earlier there was no people in the stand. And that bird is cuckoo. But Paul George's shot was wild. Step up action. We can't let Marcus Morris Sr. get into his to the middle. Wow. Over the shot clock, scraping Staples Center's roof. <laughs> Are they going to count the basket? I think they did. Wow. This man just hit a rainbow shot and got the foul. But this Bulls fan shot it from even deeper. And the craziest part is, it was for a million dollars. A million bucks? That young man being hugged has just won a million dollars here in Chicago Stadium. And for Don Calhoun of Bloomington, Illinois, a one million dollar thrill. Man, a shot like that is once in a lifetime. But a dunk like this is earth shattering. By 10, Nate George with the hard drive. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, he loves it! Listen to this. Jesus! Now that's gonna be a pain to fix. But the biggest pain of them all is LeBron James. Cause he tried to make a pass when this happened. <laughs> He's coming the other way. Two and a half. Oh. Jesus, I'm sure he was feeling that the next day. But this mascot was feeling on top of the world cause he attempted a backward shot from half court and gave us gold. Ooh, that's why they pay him the big nuggets. But if you want big nuggets, then we got this next player cause he tried to make a full court shot off one leg. The big money came calling, and uh, he got that money from the Boston Celtics. Ooh, yes. He threw it in the hole! Man, he's got a leg up on everyone. But John Wall is trying to get a leg up, because during a game against the Cavs, he was at the free throw line and did something so ridiculous, all you could do is laugh. The December for this guy, 22 and a half points per game, and almost... <laughs> Oh my, look at that, the ball. <laughs> I've never seen that before. I've seen it stay up there. I've, seen it, I've never seen it take that long to come down. Well, damn, that is one in a billion. But we gotta talk about Marcus Camby, because this guy had the longest shot in NBA history, and it didn't even count. Drives it up and missed it. Oh, and Camby gets the rebound. Oh! It 
Damn, my man got robbed. But the Nuts mascot cost himself. Cause during a halftime show, he pulled off the worst dunk attempt I've ever seen. I've, I've never seen that. I've, <laughs> I've been doing this 20 years. So how did this happen? The Brooklyn Knight, Brooklyn Nets are there, Brooklyn Knight goes up, and <laughs> you you could not do that if given a thousand chances. Maybe 500,000 chances. I agree. Well, damn. That's more impressive than if he made it. But look, no one was impressed with P.J. Tucker. Because with a minute left in the game and his Rockets up three, P.J. fell asleep during a play. Three, or three clutch free throws in a row. Yeah, but they're going to use their 24. Oh, that's the ball. Is in. Oh. Finally, makes it home. And it's a one-point game. Yeah, all this man P.J. had to do was pick the ball up. P.J., hey, pick it up. What are you doing? Pick it up. Jesus, man, I think P.J. needs some P.J.'s. But Kim Bazemore, he needs a plumber. Cause in a game against the Celtics, his jump shot got a little too wet. Off to a lot of slow starts, digging out of holes. Bazemore, the anticipation and the steal. Bazemore, rainbow three. Oh, that was up there for a long time, and it rolls down. Damn, this man had the toilet bowl shot and flushed it. That's crazy. And with that, we're making one final splash. Cause we gotta talk about a one in a billion player, Steph Curry. See, Steph's the greatest shooter ever, and it runs in the family. That's why in 2017, during pregame warmups, Steph decided to pass the ball over to someone special, his father and former NBA player, Del Curry, who pulled up from the scorer's table and showed Steph how it's done. You're awesome, Steph Curry and Pops Del Curry, a 40 footer off the window. Oh, just moments ago, I guarantee you he meant put up a window. No doubt about it. I'm the originator, man. It's Tony Montana was saying, who started this? Me, that's who. Damn, like father, like son. Now that's one in a billion. But if we're talking billions, then we gotta mention LeBron James. Cause this man has built a billion dollar empire off of being the cheapest player in the NBA. Now other athletes, they're not as smart. From Ronaldo buying a $12 million car to Mike Tyson buying three pet tigers. It's insane how these guys spend their money. Look, if you wanna hear more, you need to click on this video right here. These are stupidly expensive things athletes don't talk about. And uh, this video's over, so what are you doing? Click it.